Team Inspired back here. Who do you have and what'd you do? Uh, I'm Brian. I'm here and I talked uh, at the San Antonio Regional. I forgot the event name, but I got their place with Vanquish Soul. Uh, one of my favorite decks. Oh my uh, goodness. Uh, Flu 2.0. Flu <laughs> 2.0 for sure. Hell yeah. Let's get into the goof. Oh, are you getting shout outs? Yeah, shout out my uh, my teammates, uh, Brian and Jose. Hell yeah. And honor honorary? <laughs> shout out Louis. Uh, we both uh, came in the car. Uh, and uh, yeah, man, they uh, they helped me uh, they helped me build uh, the goo. Yeah, the goo. All right, let's get into it. Uh, so I got three uh, rosin. Uh, this card's uh, I feel like the best normal summon that you got, or yeah, it is the best normal summon. I feel like I, I'm cheating if I hard draw it because then I don't have to like search for it. And like, it's just hard, hard drawing this card is crazy, yeah. yeah. So, three of this, uh, two jellum, yes, sir. Uh, this this card is the the reason why this deck's like really good, in my opinion. Uh, searches you trap, uh, gets you follow up, and it has a niche, uh, niche interaction against Tenpai. Uh, it comes up while well, you can just reveal fire. And switches uh, the the red dragon into defense mode. It mm -hmm. kind of skips their, their turn if they go battle phase, and yeah, it kind of skips their turn. Let's go. Yeah. Uh, for the big uh, for the big monsters, I got two Caesar. Uh, two, just because uh, I did try to test out one, but I feel like uh, for the grind game, you, you do need it too. Yeah. Because uh, it comes up, he's like your your boss monster. Yeah. So yeah, play two, and then two burger. Uh, this guy has won me like a, a lot of games on the burn oh, damage. My dirty boy. Yeah, uh, for fifteen hundred each turn, kind of yeah. puts you on a time clock. Uh, against Runic, you know, you would just kind of burn for your for a game because yeah. you just they try to slow you out, but you just gotta keep burning every time. And the draw card, the draw card, um, that's uh, that's one of my favorite effects too because it gets you into engine, it gets yeah. you into hand traps, it gets you into whatever you need. Oh yeah. Yeah. And plus, um, they um, they help play around uh, Imperm, Valor. Uh, yeah, and those cards good. And then for the for the one ups, um, a Pantera and uh, Madlo. Mm -hmm. uh, I like Pantera as an extender sometimes. Uh, if they have like a non target pop, uh, I just I uh, add it with Raisin, and then so that way I can stick a body on board and you know do my mm -hmm. link plays. Uh, and one Mad Love, just because I only run one uh, Vanquish Soul Sport Trap card. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes the effect does come up to bounce, uh, but not too often, but you know, it's there. Yeah. Plus they're uh, level fours, so they make you help uh, rank four plays, you oh, know, yeah. so I like that. And that's it for the Vanquish Soul Monsters. Uh, for the, or for the somewhat hand traps, got three shifter, you know. Uh, uh, this card uh, Flume, carries. <laughs> this card carries uh, oh. rogue decks, you know, or shifter decks. Yeah. Um, sometimes it's kind of iffy. Like if I use it, like if I ask my opponent, like do they have forty cards? I'm kind of iffy on using it because I feel like they're on tenpai. Uh, but because um, sometimes it does, this does kind of hinder your vanquish soul plays. Mm -hmm. But if I know I'm going against like a forty-four, forty-three card deck, then I'll actually shifter most of the time. And it kind of can just carries. Um, so yeah, three shifter. Uh, three ash. Uh, not only is this like the best hand trap, but it synergizes with uh, with uh, the Jalong, so it makes you go full combo. So then you end on full combo, and you have an ash as disruption. And mm -hmm. ash is just really good because it's just a fire attribute. So it synergizes like that. And oh man, the cash package. Uh, these cards put in a lot of work. Uh, this this just sticking on board is crazy, just because like you know banishing face down is it's pretty nice and. Uh, it puts up the pressure. It searches you a fire attribute that you're missing, mm -hmm. uh, and, and it, uh, this plus raisin it gets you full combo. And uh, I also do a lot of actually the rice card comes up to a special summon. It does lock me out of to mm -hmm. XYZ plays, but sometimes it helps me out uh, going to Babuska or Dempsey and yeah. deck. So you didn't miss the field spell. The field spell. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, it's right here for the and two planets. There you go. Well, it's two planets. You know, just to get into your Fenrir's because Fenrir is like. Usually it's on your end board. That's the boy. And plus, uh, sticking a body on field for uh, Durandal, you know, it's kind of like you, you need a body on board sometimes. So it helps out with that. And uh, just one, um, Dogrim. Um, I never saw this card, but this card was here pur purposefully just for um, Small World, just to, to bridge, yes. to search an Ash. So that's one of the reasons that this was in there. And uh, I didn't see it, but you know, the purpose wasn't really to use it. I mean, if it came up, it came up, but yeah. it was just for Small World. Uh, that's it for the monsters. Onto the spells. I play uh, Restake Your Soul. Um, 
you know, gets you to raisin. That's, mm -hmm. that's how you win, you know, just get into, get into the body. If this, if you activate this and they ash you, sometimes you pass, but this, this is like the thing you want to ash for the most part, because this, getting to the body alone is already powerful enough, because you just, if you get to the body, sure, and it gets impermed, then you don't have a big eye to tag out. Yeah. Um, the raisin itself, you know, you just kind of link it off, recycle it back, and they kind of play on their turn. So just establishing the bodies is pretty good. Yes. And then two during, uh, three during, no, uh, my bad. Uh, I bumped it out to three, because Prosperity got hit to one. So oh. three, um, I feel like I need it for max, max consistency. Uh, and um, yeah, the Durango just, you know, what can I say, searches your raisin. Yeah. It can search rice hard too, but that kind of rarely comes up. Uh, the fire one. Uh, and then two small world. Um, this was, um, this used to be a, a Drew Swarm in Magma Hut, but every time I feel like I lost with this deck, it was whenever I didn't see raisin. So the small world is, I like it a lot because uh, you can search your raisin, your one card starter, and, or if you have like a gas hand. You could turn like uh, any random card into like an Ash Blossom or try to find the, the bridge to it or like a hand trap. So I like Smart World with that utility. So, and then the God Card one ups, uh, one Prosperity, you know, searches you the starter, searches you a uh, hand trap, searches you, know, searches you anything basically. Look at the top six is broken. Mm -hmm. uh, one Call By, you know, you um, sometimes you lose to an Ash, you know, so having the Call By is nice, you know, get those more charmies out of there. And it's also good just like uh, end board and set call by, you know, call by's always, always been great. And one rota for raising. Uh, and for trap cards, uh, just three imperm. Um, mm -hmm. Imperm is, you know, the imperm's busted, you know, it's going, drawing it as a six card, uh, setting it for with your board, you know, imperm's in. <laughs> so. Uh, and then the one TC boo, uh, oh this, this carried me on a Yubo matchup and it carried me on a Tempai matchup. Uh, so uh, this this card doesn't hurt your deck at all. So you know, just main decking it. I feel like it was it was the right call, especially everybody was on U Bill. So. Let's go. And then the the card that helps you or helps this deck a lot uh, when you, when you establish this card, it's good against the uh, Tempai. Oh, it's really good against Tempai. It's like a it does three things. It makes you special summon one from hand if you want to. Um, uh, they you burn and then. Your monsters are protected from destruction, so like uh, like Dark Core Regeki, that comes in the Tempai matchup a lot, so that's um, that's really good. Then you burn for six, and then the last effect, which is um, the the best effect, uh, you basically Dark Hole the whole field except for the Vanquish monsters. Mm. Uh, so you this kind of just makes your, your board sticky, you know. Uh, they could like Dark Hole, like Regeki you, and you're fine because you just keep trapped. If they evenly you, just keep trapped, and you'll you'll still have a, a body to stick on. And it's a, it looks you know Dark Hole the field, so it's really good. Is that forty? Um, yeah, forty cards. You want to see? You want to see Shifter? You want to see a Raisin? Um, you know, forty. I've always liked uh, mm -hmm. playing forty cards. I don't really like playing above. Even though sometimes I draw like um, not a lot of bricks in the deck, but you just want to see Shifter or Raisin. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, onto the extra deck. Uh, we got three Rock. Uh, you know, obviously this Grand Game. Uh, it does everything, you know, adds one from graveyard, especially some of the one from your hand. Most of the time, you're just adding the raisin back to hand, you know, to mm -hmm. get the other fire attribute for the Jowlong and search your trap. So this guy's, this guy's really good. You know, it's, it's literally the whole extra deck. Uh, for utility cards, we got a Nightmare Unicorn, Nightmare Cerberus, and Nightmare um, Phoenix. Why not? Uh, what's that? Why not? Why this? No, uh, I said, why not run, just run all three. Why not, why not three? What do you mean? No, because you run all three Nightmare Monsters. Yeah. <laughs> so the reason I run these is it's just for spawn removal. If it's co-linked yeah. with the with the with the rock, you know, you draw a card. Uh, they're just little utility cards. You don't really uh, sun them that often, but you know they're just nice to have. Make sure. Uh, one SP never summoned it, but you know it's just nice to have it in theory. Mm -hmm. And then one underworld goddess, uh, just to get rid of like um, a body you can't really out. Uh, well, it's usually for chaos angel if they make it with a light or dark. Mm -hmm. But honestly, if they're just sitting on that, you just burger burn them, uh, put them on the time clock, and you don't really. It's just there just in case you can't get over monsters. Uh, for the XYZs, uh, rank four Dempsey gets you into raisin. Uh, this came up in the last match, um, mm -hmm. round two. Um, I had two level four bodies, but I didn't have raisin, so you know, X Y Z into this, and you get your, you get your raisin, and then you just kind of try to take advantage on the on the following turn. Uh, Baguska, um, this you know, this kind of just sometimes uh, skips turns if you don't have an out to it. So 
it came up on against the voices match uh summon this uh skip the guy's turn basically and then i drew and uh flip ray uh flip attack zeus wiped the whole board so remember some raisin and you know it was kind of a wrap uh typhon uh typhon didn't come up this um this regional but uh typhon's really good you know it's kind of just like a it, it's kind of free in this deck uh it's just like a utility card it adds uh problem monsters it was mainly for like mary j2 but i don't think it's branded but it's it's good it's a really good card uh dark arm dragon um this is for fenrir and consider rice heart um it's spot removal it gets you into uh you can attack and then uh go into a Zeus play uh it has its utilities uh I actually did this one time when um uh, just uh detach banish the shifter and then um I end phase activate shifter again so kind of turn my shifter alive so it's really good uh and then I got the Zeus package uh rank fours uh you just overlay the rank four you overlay this battle phase beat over main phase two Zeus wipe the whole board and then you got like a Zeus live on their turn nice so it didn't come up this uh regional but you know it's it comes up uh, then and there uh, that's it for the extra deck and for the side deck. Um, this is mainly Kali, uh, kind of graveyard hate. It's a three graveyard mm -hmm. inscription. Um, this card, um, I only use it in one game. Uh, reason being is because I thought it was going to be more uh, Snake Eye, but um, it was more like uh, U Bell, uh, Tempai, so this card didn't really come up uh, just, just in one game. It's good in theory. It's also good at like breaking boards uh, when you go against Snake Eye, mm -hmm. but. I didn't see any, so it didn't really perform the way I wanted it to, but it's good. And then um, the 10 fight killer, uh, three D barrier. Uh, you know, like if, if your deck loses to this card, it loses hard to this card. Uh, you know, it just kind of skips the turn basically. Uh, two DDG, mm. just for those graveyard decks. Uh, sometimes, you know, you go raise a full combo and you have this, you kind of just secure the game. Uh, it's pretty nice. And then, depending on the matchup, uh, trap trick either gets you the this or it gets you the 10 by mm. eight. So this, uh, you know, this is kind of just utility, you know. Uh, I like, I like the, I like this, because you know, you activate one of these, and then you have like raisin with like vanquish combo, and you're basically controlling the whole game state at that point. Uh, three cosmic, uh, it's good for going first and good for going second. Uh, I was afraid of runic, but I didn't play in a single runic this uh, region. Mm. So, but you know, cosmics, you need to play this because you need out the fountains. Man, the fountains is really annoying. Uh, one harpies to, you know, wipe. And uh, the last two editions, I changed up um, to Joel's. Uh, Joel came up, I think, in two games. Uh, it actually helped me win the game, so I am happy with the last minute changes. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, that's it. Right, thank you, brother. You deserve this. Thank you.